So, tag rugby. First activity we're going to do is called cat and mouse. So, making sure we're holding the ball properly. We're holding the ball down the middle of the ball and not at the ends. Okay? We're holding the ball in two hands. It's not tucked under our arm. Okay? What we're going to do is have the mouse with the ball. I'm going to be the mouse. Tom's going to be the cat. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to travel around the square that we're in. I'm going to use skills of evasion. That means I'm going to try and lose this cat who's after me. And his job is he's got to try and stay with me. And each time I'm going to try and push off. Are we ready? Off we go. Change the ball to your partner. Stop over, let's go. And stop. Okay, same activity. So we're still playing cat and mouse. This time the mouse holding the ball in two hands is again going to try and lose, lose the cat. This time, however, when, when I shout or the teacher shouts, score a try, the person who's got the ball in their hand is going to put the ball down with some force on the ground and the person who has been doing the chasing, doing the following, is going to scoop the ball up from the ground. Okay, now the technique to scoop the ball up from the ground, we're going to very quickly look at. What we're going to try and make sure we do is that we approach the ball, we get low and we get to the side of the ball. So when our leading foot is at the side of the ball, we're in a nice low position and we scoop it up with two hands. And I'd like you to try and practice that each time you scoop, once to your right and maybe once to your left. Okay, let's go. Gotta try. Hold the ball in two hands. Scoop it up. Follow your partner. Gotta try. Good scoop. Hold the ball in two hands, everyone. It's gotta try. Scoop it up. One more time. Keep dodging. Keep trying to lose your partner. Gotta try. And scoop it up.